Uh, thank you, Congressman. And uh, thanks for everybody that came out today. I mean, uh, this is uh, clearly a very important issue. My name is Brigadier General Rick Kaiser. I command the Great Lakes and the Ohio River Division of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. As uh, Colonel Murphy said, I am the regional commander for this area. So we touch a lot of areas. Right. The Great Lakes, the Ohio River north of Pittsburgh, all the way to Cairo, Illinois, the Tennessee, and the Cumberland. So I'm very familiar with uh, the waterways of America. And just for a little bit of background, I am a degreed civil engineer, a project management professional, and have uh, quite a few years of uh, experience with demolition, and uh, quite a little bit of experience with earthquakes as well. So I'm familiar with many of the areas surrounding this issue. I'd also let everybody know that you know sometimes good science just doesn't brief well. And good science does not an opinion make. I have no opinion on whether the quarry is a good idea or a bad idea, but I have an excellent idea about the science of blasting and its effect on the dam. My main priority is number one, the safety of this wonderful structure known as Old Hickory, and the safety of those who are affected by this project. Nobody knows this lock and dam system better than the people who have spent 30 and 40 years of their life that are dedicated to running it. Nobody wants to see this property damaged. And I promise you that it will not be damaged. Now we've looked at the proposed operation of the quarry. Again, it's not my judgment to say whether it's a good idea or a bad idea in this neighborhood. And I have no opinion on that matter, but if you ask me under the parameters the quarry has decided to operate under, will it affect this structure? The answer is no. And I will not agree to the quarry operating at any parameters that would damage this structure. You know, we put sensing equipment on all of our locks and dams. Pizzometers is what we call it. It de de detects moisture moving up through the, the earth. It's like a little check engine light on your car. All right, we, we have them on this structure, and if, if this quarry goes forward and uh, operates, we've said we'll put more on there to see if there's any damage that is being caused. And we don't think there will be damage, but if there is, we'll, we'll make sure it's stopped. You know, blasting next to a dam is not an uncommon thing. If you go down the road to Kentucky Lake, Kentucky Lock and Lake, we're, we're blasting right next to our dam, but we do it safely. So I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing to do here, but it's not uncommon. We've done worst case blast modeling. And with that modeling, and I would invite everybody to go to Nashville's homepage and read the technical paper that we used to provide this initial assessment. If there was any potential damage to this structure, I would seek to use my authorities to stop it from operating. But because our analysis showed there is no danger of damage to this structure, I don't have federal authority to stop this because it's on private land. If I own the land, I could stop their activities, but I don't. So my, my message to you, and I am uh, more than willing to answer questions, and I also have other technical experts here to do it, that uh, we will make sure that this lock and dam stays safe. The bottom line is I am not for a quarry. I am not against a quarry but I am for the safe and continued operation of Old Hickory Lock and Dam. Thank you for coming out and I look forward to any questions you may have.